Hey everybody, Cindy Otter here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are you doing? Um, I'm doing okay. A little bit of pain today. Um, yeah, a little bit higher than I normally want it. Um, we're going to work on my creative year today. And, you know, today is a perfect day for me to do this prompt because um, this week we're talking about font and we're talking about... Um, you know, how to use your font in your art is what Gina and um, Anne were, were discussing. However, what I'm going to be talking about is the difference in your writing or your own personal font, um, as you want to have it, you know, however you want to call it, um, during chronic pain. Because I have noticed, I've grabbed this piece of paper. I'm going to use this piece of paper for an example. Um, what I have noticed as I'm doing this journaling journey that um, there are times when I will write and it's beautiful. I, I love my relaxed, um, laid-back handwriting, right? And then there's other times when my handwriting is just atrocious. And these are a couple of my journals um, that I wanted to show you. I have a couple different examples here. Um, let me see if that's the first one. Yeah, this is the first one. All right, so when I'm, where'd it go? When I'm relaxing and just chilling out, let me bring you in a little bit. Um, this is my handwriting. You know, it's okay. Um, you know, that's, that's not the one that I actually love the way I do it. But that's just when I'm relaxed, sitting down, writing, you know, pain levels where it should be, and I'm just playing around, right? So that's one. Now, I have um, another page that I was trying to find, and I could not find it in one of my journals. But I actually had a page where the only thing I did was scribble. And that was an extremely high paint day. I had to get that paint out of my system, and that was the only way I knew how. I'm going to bring you out a little bit. Um, and I just basically, I wrote bad words and how all my feelings and the hurt and the sadness and the anger and the frustration and all of it I just scribbled and scribbled and scribbled and scribbled and I can't find that page I'm not sure what journal it's in but you know that's another option of expression now a couple weeks ago we talked about was it a couple weeks ago? Uh, last week, we talked about how to get started on your journaling journey and how to journal um, keeping your privacy. Now, as you notice, I am not covering anything up on here. All right, this is one of my journal pages. Um, and I'll tell you how I did this. This is a frustrated page. This is a day of high pain. And what I did is I would just write and write and write and write. And I kept spinning my book around and around and around. Now, nobody can sit down and read this, okay? Because I myself don't even know what I wrote on these pages, but I do know that I was in so much pain. I had to get some things out on paper, and I wanted to find a way to do it that... It just, it was there. And if you notice, there's things about sick, dealing, wish, get, um, let's see, sleep, stuck, feeling, uh, create, mourning, pain, days, um, unfortunately, settle, needs, crap. <laughs> so, you know, you can just pick out the words and realize that, yeah, that was not a really cool day. <laughs> All right, so um, what I'm going to talk about, I just wanted to show you guys this because I didn't have it last week, but um, this is, again, these are both completed journals that go in my, my pile over there. But All right, so what we're going to talk about today is I'm going to talk to you, or actually I'm going to show you um, my different levels of writing depending on the pain level, all right? But, um, you know, I have this on here. The first thing I want to do, though, is I want to put something down. I'm, You know, I can't just stay with a blank piece of paper. So let me grab, I've got some new paints. I just picked these up the other day um, in Hobby Lobby. And this is the Bray Reese Heavy Body Acrylics. 
And this is the Ocean Green. And it's so funny because I haven't used these paints, but I love the color so much I bought two of them. So let's hope they're good, right? Oh, look at that color. That color, isn't that cool? So let's throw some out here and let's see how well they cover. Now I am gonna spritz as soon as I find my spritzer. Well, actually, let's try it first. Let's see. I have something at the end of this pencil and I've, or pen, yeah, pencil. My pencil here, um, paintbrush, and I can't get it out. I wanna see how they cover. Hmm, definitely a heavy body, that's for sure. I just, I'm playing right now. So, um, you know, talking about font and talking about chronic pain, I'm sure if you've journaled at all during your chronic pain journey, you've noticed there's some days that your writing just looks atrocious. And you know, I'm exactly the same way. Um, there's days that I need to get my expression out and I need to um, show, you know, how I'm feeling inside and with, but without showing it, you know what I'm saying? So. So my writing really tells a lot. You can tell um, by the way I'm writing what type of a day I'm having. Oh, I like, I love this color. And that's cool. So I'm just trying to, I want to put a little bit of color down there. I don't want it just all the same. So let's, I want to take this blue up into here. Actually, sorry, it's called ocean green. To me, it's teal. All right, we're just going to. And so I'm just kind of making this look a little bit, I don't know, different. Not the same ick, right? And while we're doing the front and I have the paintbrush and the paint out, let me just hit this real quick. Just hit that dry real quick. And then we'll do the same thing to the back. Not sure what's going to happen on the back. Again, as you guys know, I've been using the backs to play and I really enjoy it. So today's really not about, you know, talking about um, the chronic pain so much as it will be um, just showing you, um, you know, the different fonts that I end up having um, depending on the pain level. You know, you notice the difference when you're in a hurry and you have to write a note versus when you have actually time to sit down and relax and, you know, maybe make your grocery list or whatever. It's not quite as scribbly and as, as you know, crazy. Same thing with the chronic pain and journaling. There's days when, um, just like last night, uh, we had some friends over and, and like I said, we went and did a lot yesterday and, and I paid for it last night and I actually got out my journal with the intent to write and I just, I couldn't, the pain was just too much. So. All right, so we just got some of that on there. Let me just hit it again real quick. All right, so I'm just gonna get, um, let's see if I do a regular pen. Let's see if this one's purple. No, it's just a regular pen. No, we'll just use a regular pen. All right, so basically, um, there's different degrees of my handwriting. Um, this one is calm and relaxed. Okay, and let's see. Let's, um, what are we going to write? Okay, let's do this. Okay. So calm and relaxed. Bring you back in. Sorry, I feel like I'm taking you guys on a roller coaster ride. All right, so calm and relaxed. And this is a sentence I'm going to write through the different um, styles of font. Chronic pain is something I would <laughs> I would wish on no one. I thought it was because I wish. Um, chronic pain is something I would wish on no one. So this is a calm and relaxed. Now, if I'm in a hurry, let's do this. Let's do a hurry. All right, it would be. All 
All right, now see just the difference in sitting down and relaxed and having your own, you know, time to a hurried. It's just a different type of a font. So this is a relatively relaxed pain day. This is just, I want to write a note in a quick. Now this is um, like a medium pain day. So let's do that, a medium pain day. We're also going to do a, let me just give a couple lines here. We're going to do a, I'm going to say a high pain day, okay? And then I'm going to do an over the top day. All right, so these right here are pretty much what I use. If I'm at a regular, normal, relaxed pain day, this is what I use. So a medium pain day would be something like this. Um, So if we look at it, um, in a hurry, we just kind of slur things. Um, medium pain day is, you know, kind of like on a hurry and only not quite so much. A high pain day, um, depending on what I'm writing um, or, you know, what's going on, it could be something like this. Okay, so that would be more of a high pain day. I need to get some writing out, but it's it's just something I've got to do. I've got to get it out. Now, on an over-the-top pain day, first of all, there's possibility of no writing. Okay. Um, and I'm going to try to use the same sentence, but I'm going to show you what happens when I'm in an extreme over-the-top pain day if I do write. Um, so let's say I want this thought out. Okay, so I just wrote chronic pain really sucks. Now here is chronic pain is something I would wish on no one, so. Okay, and it says here, um, chronic pain is something I would wish on no one except maybe an enemy. So. Basically, what I wanted to do is I just wanted to show you um, how your personal font, your own handwriting, um, is going to change depending on how you are on the chronic pain. Now, does this mean that you shouldn't write this way? Absolutely not. I find sometimes when I'm on a, an extreme pain day and I do want to write, I find doing this... Um, really helps me to clear my mind and it really helps me to take out that frustration and to take out uh, that pain and to take out that uncomfortable and to to take all of it and just kind of channel it on a piece of paper and when I do that it, it almost gives me a sense of calm or quietness um, in my mind so you know this week is it's kind of just relaxed with as far as the font I really um, you know I don't feel that working with the chronic pain and going and finding a font on the computer that kind of thing that's not that's not what came to mind it was my handwriting in my journals and like I said I only showed you a couple different examples but um, I have pages in there where I have just you know this really stinks I can't handle it um, you guys have seen me do that on explorations of me and negativity smackdown sometimes I just have to get stuff out and get it on paper and when I do it just it helps me uh, mentally therapeutically um, it really allows me to stop and breathe and not have to live with all of that in my mind so I hope this guy you know helps you um, you know, maybe even if it just makes you a little bit more aware, if you're journaling and you're thinking, well, you know, every day is the same, 
go back and look at your handwriting and I bet you you're gonna find out that it's not every day is not the same so if you have any questions comments you know definitely let me know um, again I'm not a licensed therapist I'm not a licensed counselor this is my own experience that I'm sharing with you and you know if I can help you in any way that's that's what I'm looking for so all right so here is my font so we're just gonna put this on here chronic pain Um, font and we're going to do my creative year all right so that's what that is pretty interesting huh all right guess what time it is yes 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 i get to play so um i've got a few things here that um i've i've cut out and i don't know let's see I've got some play that I did with some painted papers the other day. So I might use some of these. I don't know. I've got a couple dies here. Um, these two I just got. Um, I may use these. I don't know. I just, I think it's time just to maybe break out some more paint and just play. And I hope you guys enjoy and I will chat with you at the end.
right guys so here it is um, I'm gonna turn this over hopefully not mess anything up we talked in the beginning about different chronic pain font and you know how you write depending on how you feel and you know I hope that just gives you an idea to take a look back at your journaling and um, you can see the patterns you can see just in your handwriting whether or not it was a good day it doesn't matter if you were just talking about you know how to make coleslaw or you know you made an apple pie today if you look at your handwriting you're going to actually notice different patterns as to what you do and the pain levels you're in so and this is my back um that i just wanted to play in um it says believe you are extraordinary and i just had a great time playing with this i hope you guys have enjoyed this as always like comment share and subscribe and if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I'll be glad to answer them for you. And always, as always, have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.